Simone, take one. Simone Biles soaring to the top of her sport, becoming the most decorated gymnast, male or female, ever. I am Simone Biles, and I was a former foster kid. I was in foster home with my siblings for a couple of years. There are currently 11 million kids living below the poverty line in the U.S. alone. 400,000 of them are in foster care. Simone wanted to help these kids. And when she discovered a unique solution through a long-term mentorship organization called Friends of the Children, she saw her opportunity. I know exactly what these kids go through and kind of what these kids need to be successful when they're older. Having that one constant person in their life from whenever they're young all the way through high school graduation, that's actually really beneficial to the kids. Kids like Ty. As a former foster child, Ty's mentor, Shambria, is giving her the surprise of a lifetime the chance to meet her hero. It says Simone Biles meet and greet. <laughs> Where are you going? To Houston, Texas. <laughs> We're here today with you, the one and only Simone Biles. Yes. <laughs> to celebrate Friends of the Children Houston. Are you ready to meet Simone? Hold my hand, you can hold my hand to speak. <laughs> this is Stand Together Presents. Stories, ideas, and advice from changemakers tackling our biggest challenges. Ty entered foster care at four years old. By five, she was struggling and on a state list of foster kids in need of support. That's when Shambria came into her life. My name is Shambria Young, and I'm a professional mentor slash friend at Friends of the Children. Something just like struck in me that I wanted to help people. You know, I was kind of like doing this soul search of trying to figure out exactly what it is that I wanted to do. And uh, my mom was a foster parent at the time. She became a foster parent when I was, I believe, in the 11th or 12th grade. You know, just, oh gosh, Ty. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's okay. This, she did good. <laughs> I love you. <laughs> Give me a hug. <laughs> the average youth in foster care stays in the system for over a year, often moving homes multiple times. They lack essential stability and guidance in their most formative years. Friends aims to tackle that with a commitment of over 12 years per child. So what Friends of the Children does is it pairs a paid mentor with either kids from smaller communities or foster kids, but it kind of walks them through all the way to graduation. It's that person, that constant in your life that can attend any of your school activities and just that one person to lean on when it feels like no one's there. And so that's why I was like, can we bring a chapter to Houston? So Simone decided to get hands-on with her supportive Friends of the Children. Not only did she dedicate her second Wheaties box to the organization, she's bringing a brand new chapter to her hometown of Houston. Today, she's invited the Friends team, along with Ty and Shambria, to celebrate. I think it's something that you don't know about Simone, but she was in foster care and her grandfather adopted her. Oh, see, I was in foster care and my grandmother adopted me. So there's somebody else out there like you. This is a big moment for the organization that's turning 30 and Houston is our 29th chapter. And none of this would be possible without you. So thank oh. you. Houston's happening. What does that yeah. mean to you for this community? Yeah. For me, I think that to have something like this in our own community, I think they need that constant in their life and somebody who believes in them. So hopefully they know that like I'm a foster kid too. So I've been in your shoes and hopefully it just motivates them. Oh my hand, you can hold my hand this way. Hello. How are you? This is Tom. Hi, I'm Hi. Simone. Nice to meet oh, you. Like she doesn't know Simone, by yes. <laughs> <laughs> I should be. Hey, girl. How are nice you guys? Day. You too. Well, thank you guys want to have a seat? Yeah. You should have saw her face when you walked. Really? Yeah. She oh, I wish I would have seen she it. Was. Me and my grandma, we used to watch you all the time. Oh. You used to be in the Olympics. Yeah. And all that. Oh, thank <laughs> you. That's so exciting. Have you ever wanted to be a gymnast? No. No, it's scary. Yeah, <laughs> I get that. Yeah, it is kind of yeah. scary. 
She wants to be yeah. a pediatrician, so she likes little babies. That's like, what I wanted to be thing. when I was younger. Yeah, see, here we yes. are. Yes. <laughs> but you've been mentoring her for eight years? Mm -hmm. That is- Eight and a half, nine wow, years of That's life. awesome. Yeah. So what's your favorite thing about Chambria? Is she like an older sister? Yes. Yeah. And like best friend. Oh, I yeah. love that. Gosh, we need more Chambrias. We need one in Houston. You can't take her from me. Yeah, I can't take her. <laughs> yes. Like, yeah. Simone saw a deeply personal problem that needed an innovative and personal solution. And with 93% of the kids going through Friends of the Children avoiding the justice system, 83% of them graduating from high school, and 98% avoiding teen parenting, she may have found one. Together, they're now working to be in over 50 cities around the country. I feel like we all need consistency in our lives in one way or another. I feel like that consistency, like just knowing that you will always have somebody through your highs, through your lows. What would our world look like if every child had someone who believed in them and helped them discover their gifts and accomplish their dreams? Could one caring relationship be the key? Well, my goodness, I hope for these kids that they can dream big and dream bigger after that and that They'll never give up, and they know that these mentors and even their friends are rooting for them for success, for happiness, through anything that they're going through, and know that we're there with you guys. Stand Together partners with changemakers tackling our biggest challenges. To see more stories, follow our channels. And to learn more about how you can partner with us, go to standtogether.org.